so we're here at Charlotte to do some rally crossing. Uh, qualify P3, which has put me in outside of row one. A nasty place to be starting. So let's see if we can survive the first corner, first lap or two, and uh, it's competitive out there. see what we can get out of it. You have to run one joke lap. One. Here we go then. Green, green, green. Got ten laps to go. Pretty even start from all of us there, I think. Oh, I've done that thing that everyone does. Well, I think I nearly turn around myself around someone's nose then. The one car's gone. <laughs> See ya. He went a bit deep into that corner though, so it's not absolutely untouchable. Felt like I was eating ages on the throttle there for the car in front. Just didn't seem to get moving. I think that's a bad move from him to be honest, because he's going to end up behind all these other guys. If the car in front's not slowing you down, why would you take the joke a lot, which is going to put you behind cars that are slower than you? Oh, this is a horrible line for me. Carbans made a bit of a mistake. Ah, oh, the relatives cut off just a little bit in there because of the Joker lap. I tried to put the Joker on so we could see what's going on around us, but I was cut off the side of the screen. Oh, that's not what we're wanting to do at all. And also the joke left's not working properly because it says I've taken it when I haven't. <laughs> nice one race laps. I think it was the number four car, wasn't it, that was in front of us? before we peeled off early. Just trying to see where he is in terms of distance to us. Oh, his way down must have made a mistake. I think it was Joey, wasn't it? Oh, behind's dropped off a bit as well. I think we'll go for it. I think this should still get me out in front of him. Just. But he's not taking his. Oh, he has. This is him. Okay. Game on then. I didn't do a particularly good quality, so I feel like if I can keep it together, I'll stay in front of him. Immediately runs deep. This is where I felt like I was faster than him. So I crashed into the wall. <laughs> oh my goodness. The ring rust. Only halfway, wow. We're in a great spot. Oh, I'm too close to it. 
Couldn't get on the power because I was inside the wall. I think the two guys behind me are keeping each other occupied. Oh my goodness, where's the corner? You got a slow car on the left. Car stop on the left. Is that the leader? No way. What happened? Well, that changes the complexion somewhat. I'm still hopeless at this happen though. Oh, he's dropped so many places. He's managed 44s in the race, I'm mid-45. Yikes. You're in third. Car didn't rotate. Oh, it didn't rotate again. <laughs> I'm so scared of that concrete block. I didn't really get the apex there, did I? Why is it not rotating there anymore? It's like the handbrake doesn't work. Might be the sort of biggest SOF rally cross I've done to be fair. It's normally like anyone above 1.4k gets put into, I assume we're top split. <laughs> Why is that car not rotating that corner anymore? Just thinking how opportune, good of an opportune moment. What? How good of an opportunity that would have been to smash the inside wall in T1. That would have been the perfect time to throw it all away. <laughs> I'll do it there instead. Jesus Christ, that was scary. A little bit early on that handbrake operation. <laughs> Christ. A little bit of a scare at the end there. Just to keep him guessing right till the last second. Alright, triumphant return to Rallycross then, let's go. Yee! Let's giggly go! Well, happy days. <laughs> it's always nice when you go into a race expecting very little and manage to come away with a win somehow. I, uh, I took a look at how the leader ended up losing, um, sort of losing the position there, I guess losing, losing the race in a way. And uh, towards the end of the race, my car seemed to start straightening out through T1 and 2. Um, I don't think or T1 and 2 on this map, but you know what I mean? Two dirt, um, two dirt turns. And what was interesting is he seemed to sort of go in normally and then the same thing happened, the car just straightened up from the front end and yeah, bounced off that inside, well sorry, um, bounced onto that outside barrier and it's weird with that cutout because it's only in a section, your rear left catches that bit of the barrier and it just spins you around, it just takes forever to get back out of it because there's nowhere to turn around and these cars don't flick spin and everything so absolute disaster for the leader but we managed to get the win of course. So yeah, it's uh, fair to say that I definitely got very lucky <laughs> in that one to come away with the result, but you know what they say, you know, got to be in it to win it, got to be in the right place at the right time to capitalise if anyone else does make a mistake, and uh, somehow one way or another I had the pace to beat the guy that uh, qualified in the lead, um, and you know, was sort of just in front of us, kind of through lap one, and uh, yeah, meant that we, we could capitalise after that mistake was made, and did some victory drifting <laughs> after the race had finished. Um, yeah, it's uh, not a bad return to Rallycross. I can't remember the last time I did a race, so 
yeah, not bad at all. We'll take that all the way. You know the drill. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, then give it a thumbs down. <laughs> Drop us a comment and let us know why. Um, yeah, and consider subscribing if you're new here and you're and uh, yeah, and you've not done that already. <laughs> what? It's late, whatever. Other than that, take it easy and look after yourself. I'll catch you in the next one.